Hi Cricketers! Today I'm going to be talking to you about why every bride needs a Cricut machine and how you can make money selling wedding projects with your Cricut machine if you're interested in running your own business. I'm going to be showing you a whole bunch of beautiful wedding projects that you can make with your Cricut machine for a fraction of the price of what other people are selling them for. There's a lot of things that you have to buy for a wedding. When you factor in all the bridal party gifts, the, all the bridesmaids, the groomsmen, the parents, the flower girls, the ring bearers, all the signs, stationery. I got married almost 10 years ago, but I remember all of the stuff that I had to buy and how much money it cost. And I really wish that back then when I got married that I had a Cricut machine because it would have saved me so much money. So many of the things that I purchased for my wedding off of Etsy back then are things that I could make so easily now with my Cricut. Welcome to my channel. My name is Carrie. Follow me for Cricut projects, beginner tutorials, small business tips, and more. And don't forget to follow me on all the different social medias. I have a huge group on Facebook with over 87,000 members. It's called Cricut from Beginner to Small Business by Cricketer. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram. So make sure you click the links down below in my video description to follow me on all the different social medias. Let's talk really quick about what a Cricut machine is. A Cricut is a cutting machine that can cut a variety of materials like paper, vinyl, cardstock, and heat transfer vinyl. Some machines can even cut through thin wood, leather, fabric, and more. Prices vary depending on the model and the accessories that they come with. The Cricut Joy is their most basic machine. It works best for smaller projects where the designs are under six inches long. It's great for making things like cups and wine glasses, but if you want to make bigger projects like signs, then you're probably better off going with the Cricut Explore Air 2 or the Cricut Maker or the brand new Cricut Maker 3. The Cricut Maker 3 is the best of the best, so if you're somebody who always wants the latest and greatest equipment, the Cricut Maker 3 is the machine for you. The Cricut Joy is currently selling for $169.99, and the Cricut Maker is $479.99. Like I said, pay attention to what the machines come with. Some of them only come with the machine, and other machines that you buy come as a package with all kinds of different vinyls, cutters, tools. Most of the time, I think it's better to buy the bundle. You end up saving more money that way. You can make so much with a Cricut machine. These are all different projects that I've made throughout the years. Many of them are specifically for the wedding industry, but I make projects for all different holidays. You can make personalized gifts, signs, glassware, clothing, DIY crafts for all occasions. Make all your own gifts for every holiday. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving, you name it, the Cricut can make it. To make finding the projects that I talk about in this video really easy, I have made an Amazon list. This is where you can find all of the different blanks and materials that I talk about throughout this video in one easy location. Just click the link down below in my video description and you can find all the materials that I talk about in this video. Now let's talk more about weddings. Weddings are a multi-billion dollar industry in the United States. You can save money by making things yourself or make money by starting your own small business. There were 1,934,982 weddings in the United States in 2021. According to some data that I looked up, couples in the United States spend the most amount of money every year on weddings, just under $30,000. That's a lot of sales opportunities for you. Another thing most couples need to buy is groomsmen's gifts. I went over to one of my favorite personalization websites that I used before I had a Cricut machine. It's called personalizationmall.com. This is one of their best-selling groomsmen's gifts that I just love. It's a personalized, I don't know why I have such a hard time saying this word, personalized. It's a personalized flask. They're selling this flask for $26.99 and I'm going to show you how you can save money and make it yourself. The same flask is selling on Amazon for $8.99. Let's do some quick math here. $26.99 minus $8.99 is $18 cheaper for this flask. So let's say you have five groomsmen that you have to buy these flasks for at almost $20 a piece, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. You can save almost $100 just by doing this project yourself. You'll also need some permanent vinyl and transfer tape. 
I recommend Oracle 651 for permanent vinyl and I have a link for the transfer tape down below. Another super popular groomsman's gift is personalized etched beer mugs. This is actually what I had bought for my groomsmen nine years ago when I got married. They're selling them for $25.99. You can buy the same mug from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. $25.99 minus $1.25 is $24.74 that you would save by making this yourself, not counting the cost of the vinyl and your transfer tape. You'll also need a bottle of etch cream that you can get on Amazon. I looked it up, a bottle of it is currently selling for $11.45. You only need a tiny bit of this on each project. A little bit goes a long way and it will probably last you like forever unless you're you know, making tons of these for your business. In that case, buy the bigger bottle. When I calculate the differences in this video, I'm only talking the cost of the blank. If you wanna look up the cost of vinyl, there's all kinds of vinyl decal calculators online where you can calculate the size of your project and how much money that you spend in vinyl. Usually the amount of vinyl that you use for a project is not very much. Unless you're making a big t-shirt that uses a lot of vinyl, but if you're putting like a decal on a wine glass, it's like a three inch decal. It's gonna cost you like pennies, especially if you're using Oracle 651. If you had to buy five of these etched beer mugs at $26.99, you'd be spending $134.95, and that's not counting shipping if they charge for shipping. If you go to Creative Fabrica, you can type in monogram SVGs or split monogram SVGs, and you can find a ton of great designs that you can put on these beer mugs. I wanna to talk to you about Creative Fabrica really quick because they have a new promotion going on that you guys are going to love. In some of my older videos, you probably heard me talk about their $1 trial where you could try Creative Fabrica for $1, and then after that, it would be discounted to $19 a month. Normally their monthly membership is $29 a month, so that was a great deal. But now that it's getting closer to the holidays, they're giving us an even better deal. This is how it works. You can sign up for free by clicking the link down below in my video description. They're giving you 10 free downloads on their website. Then after you use up the 10 free downloads or after one month, the subscription renews at only $9 a month. This is almost a 70% discount off of their normal $29 a month. So this is an incredible deal. I would be jumping all over this if I were you. One of the main reasons that I love Creative Fabrica so much is because their graphics and fonts all come with a commercial license. This is the kind of license you need when you sell Cricut projects. Most of the designs you get from other websites and that people share in Facebook groups do not come with a commercial license. If you didn't make the design yourself and you're sharing it, and selling things with the item, then you can risk being sued. You really got to have that commercial license. and That's what Creative Fabrica gives you with their website. And for the $9 a month, you get unlimited access to everything on their website. I'm talking over 6 million fonts, graphics, digital resources. You can do so much on there. You can make project mock-ups. You can make logos. Anytime I'm looking for a specific design, I just type it into the search bar and tons of things come up. If I'm looking for project ideas or inspiration, just go to their search bar and type in something like wedding SVGs or wedding bundles. If you type in bundles after your search, a lot of times you can find great bundles. If for some reason you decide that you don't want to pay the subscription anymore, you can cancel at any time. You're not locked into any sort of contract. So I would highly recommend you scoop up this deal before it's gone, get your 10 free downloads and 70% off of your monthly subscription. This etch cream is great to use on other blanks as well, such as shot glasses. They're selling etch shot glasses for $9.99 a piece. I found a six pack of the same shot glasses on Amazon for $8.99. So that's only $1.50 per shot glass instead of $10. That's $8.49 cheaper to make it yourself. If you're buying five personalized shot glasses at $10 a piece, that's $50. If you're making five personal personalized shot glasses at $1.50 each, that's $7.50. If you're a bride, you can save so much money. And if you have a Cricut business, you can sell these same projects for what other people are selling them for and make three or four times the profit. In the case of those beer mugs, they're making like 26 times the profit. They're selling these three different types of beer mugs for $16.99 a piece. 
I found the exact same ones at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 a piece. You just have to get your design, which I would get from Creative Fabrica, then cut it out with your stencil, which is the Oracle 651. You put that stencil on your glass, you paint the etch cream on, and then you rinse it off and you're left with a beautiful project. $16.99 minus $1.25 is $15.74 cheaper. Here's another super cute idea, personalized Zippos. These ones are etched, but I would use permanent vinyl to do this, um, Oracle 651. These Zippos are currently selling for $37.99 each. Save money and make it yourself. On Amazon, you can buy these same lighters for $16.64. $37.99 minus $16.64 is a $21.35 savings. Or in business terms, it's a $21.35 profit that you can make. If they can make money selling these projects, why can't you? You need a blank, a design, and some vinyl. If you're getting married, you're also supposed to buy your bridesmaids gifts. Just like beer mugs are super popular for groomsmen, wine glasses are super popular for bridesmaids. Just use that same bottle of etch cream and your vinyl, slap it onto a dollar store wine glass, and save yourself a ton of money or make a ton of money if you're selling it with your business. They're selling these etched wine glasses for $17.99 per glass. Save money and make it yourself. I always get my wine glasses from the dollar store. You can buy them with or without the stem. You can buy them online in bulk quantities if you need to. Just make sure that before you sell your wine glass that you peel off the sticker on the bottom so people don't know it's a dollar store glass. I always keep a bottle of Goo Gone on hand and rubbing alcohol to get off difficult labels. $17.99 minus $1.25 is a $16.74 savings or profit if you're selling. You'll also need the vinyl and transfer tape and etch cream. Personalized makeup bags are another great gift for your bridesmaids. They're selling them for $24.99 a piece. Save money and make it yourself. Guess who also sells makeup bags really cheap? The Dollar Tree. They have a few different types. They're all only $1.25 a piece. Super cute, very similar to the ones that they're selling. You know I love doing math to figure out my savings. $24.99 minus $1.25 is a $23.74 savings by making it yourself or on the flip side, profit if you're selling them. You need heat transfer vinyl and some kind of heat press. You can either use an iron, an easy press mini, an easy press, or a heat press. It depends on what your budget is. Um, if you're using your Cricut for business purposes, I would highly recommend getting a heat press. I like the 15 by 15 inch swingaways. These ones are big enough where you can make like two XL t-shirts on them. You don't have to worry about burning yourself like you do with the clamshell ones. I like that it swings out of the way. But if you're on a budget and you're trying to save some money, the Cricut Easy Press is another great alternative. For heat transfer vinyl, I always recommend Sizer Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl. I have personally sold a bunch of bridal party shirts. I've made them not only for the wedding, but also for the Jack and Jills. A shirt like this is currently selling for $22.99 on their website. Save money and make it yourself. If you ever need to buy bulk shirts on the cheap, I would highly recommend going to JiffyShirts.com. Their shirt prices are so cheap. This plain white shirt right here is only $4.52. $22.99 minus $4.52 is an $18.74 savings or profit. I typed in Bride Squad on Creative Fabrica, and of course they have pages and pages full of SVGs that say Bride Squad. I really love this one. I'm going to add it to my favorites. To make t-shirts, you'll also need heat transfer vinyl and a heat press. Another super popular bridal party gift is pers personalized robes. This website is selling these robes for $44.99. Save money and make it yourself. This robe is currently selling on Amazon for only $18.60. $44.99 minus $18.60 is $26.39 cheaper. You'll also need your heat transfer vinyl and your heat press. Now let's not forget, gifts for parents. These wedding handkerchiefs are super cute. There's really cute ideas for father of the bride, mother of the bride, and bridal parties. What do I say? Save money and make it yourself. I found a six pack of these handkerchiefs on Amazon for $8.99. There's even a coupon where you can save 5% off. 
So this makes them only $1.49 each. Now remember, Personalization Mall is selling them for $16.99 a piece. 16 times more expensive. Save money and make it yourself. $16.99 minus $1.49 is $15.50 cheaper. Don't forget your heat transfer vinyl and your heat press for this project. Here's another idea for parents. Custom and personalized coffee mugs are a great gift for your parents. They're also a great gift for anybody who drinks coffee. You can make them for your bridal party, your bridesmaids, your groomsmen. These mugs are on sale right now for $9.99. Normally they're selling them for $16.99. Save money and make it yourself. The Dollar Tree sells great mugs for only $1.25 a piece. $9.99 minus $1.25 is $8.74 cheaper. You can't forget to buy gifts for your flower girl. Personalized stuffed animals are a super cute idea for flower girl gifts. I've actually sold personalized unicorns with my own Cricut business, and I have a tutorial on how to personalize stuffed animals with your Cricut machine on my YouTube channel. They normally sell this unicorn for $38. It's currently on sale for $27.29. Save money and make it yourself. This Bedtime Originals unicorn is only $9.28 on Amazon. This would make an adorable flower girl gift. It also works great for birth announcement animals. I have another video on my YouTube channel about how to make personalized birth announcement elephants. To make this would be the same technique. You're going to want to use heat transfer vinyl and an iron or easy press. I wouldn't use um, like a big swing away heat press for this project. You're better off using a smaller heat press. $27.29 minus $9.28 is an $18.01 savings. I can tell you right now that personalized stuffed animals were one of my best sellers with my Cricut business. I sold so many personalized birth announcement elephants. I still have people message me all the time asking for them. You can make a lot of money selling those. Another cute idea for the little ones is personalized tumblers. You can pay $21.99 to have them make you one, or you can save money and make it yourself. A 12-pack of these acrylic tumblers on Amazon is $38.97. That's only $3.25 per cup. Would you rather spend $21.99 on a cup or $3.25 on a cup? $21.99 minus $3.25 is an $18.75 savings. Or if you want to sell this project, you can make $18. You just need some of that vinyl and transfer tape. What about ring bearers? What can we make for them with our Cricut machine? You can use those same $3.25 acrylic tumblers we just talked about and turn it into a super cute ring bearer cup. Save money and make it yourself. Personalized shirts are another really cute idea. This one is selling for $19.99. It says ring security in the child's name. Save money and make it yourself. On Jiffy shirts, you can find the blank white t-shirts for $2.75 a piece. $19.99 minus $2.75 is a $17.24 savings. Of course, Creative Fabrica has a million designs for this. You can type in Bride Security or Ring Bearer, and there's tons of SVGs to choose from. To make these shirts, you just need the blank shirt, heat transfer vinyl, and a heat press. Ring bearer signs have also become more and more popular. This one is very cute. It says, Uncle Lucas, here comes your bride. They're selling it for $24.99. Save money and make it yourself. I found this double-sided hanging chalkboard sign on Amazon for only $8.99. The dimensions are almost the same. You could use white Oracle 651 vinyl and put it on the sign. $24.99 minus $8.99 is a $16 savings. I looked up Here Comes the Bride on Creative Fabrica. Of course, they have tons of beautiful designs. This one is really cute. Too late to run. Here she comes. Personalized kids' capes are another very cute idea. These ones retail for $24.99. They're currently on sale for $17.49. Save money and make it yourself. Amazon sells a set of 14 of these capes for $28.50. That comes out to just $2 per cape. $17.49 minus $2 is a $15.49 savings. A couple needs to buy wedding and wedding shower invitations. You can make these with a Cricut. It's called Print Then Cut. You don't need to have a printer in order to use your Cricut machine. You can make a lot of projects using vinyl or heat transfer vinyls, 
But the reason why having a printer is so handy is because Cricut has print and cut features. So you can use a printer to make your wedding invitations. You can use a printer to make magnets and clothing and all sorts of different projects. If you're looking for a new printer, I would highly recommend the Epson EcoTank. It's a great printer because instead of having to buy ink cartridges, you can refill it with ink, which is way cheaper with great printer quality. You can also convert this printer to a sublimation printer. That means that you can fill the printer with sublimation ink and then print on that printer and then heat press those items onto shirts, onto mugs. It's kind of like Cricut infusible ink, but different. Having a sublimation printer will really allow you to expand your business and get into a whole new area of printing colors and not having to do layers. Um, you don't have to use vinyl, you just use the ink in the printer. So make sure you check out that Amazon list down in my video description to find out where to buy one of those. You'll also need some cardstock if you're interested in making wedding invitations. This 90 pound cardstock works beautifully. The Cricut is also great at making precise cuts into paper products like cardstock, so you can make really beautiful invitations for weddings with your Cricut machine. Many couples nowadays also buy save the dates before they get married. If you don't know what a save the date is, it's like a wedding invitation that you send out before your wedding invitation. Wedding invitations usually go out, I want to say like six weeks before the wedding, where save the dates go out like six months before the wedding and most people use magnets for their save the dates. I looked up how much it costs for wedding save the date magnets. Usually they're around one to two dollars, but it depends. You can actually make save the date magnets with your Cricut machine. Save money and make it yourself. I don't have a tutorial on my YouTube channel about how to make magnets with your Cricut, but there is a friend of mine on YouTube who has an amazing video. I'll leave a link down to that in my video description as well in case you're interested in learning how to do this. Her channel is called Craftable Things, and it's called How to Make Magnets with Cricut for Beginners, Design Space, Print and Cut Stickers. To do this project, you'll need a printer. So just like I said before, the Epson Eco tank is a great option. You'll also need printable vinyl for inkjet printers. You can find this on my Amazon list. And you'll need plain magnet sheets. It may actually be cheaper to buy the magnets through another company like Shutterfly, depending on the size of the magnet and how many you need. Um, if you only need a couple of them, then you might be better off just buying it through a third party but if you're gonna be making hundreds of them, then it might be cheaper to do it yourself. Let's not forget the bachelorette party gifts. Personalized nip labels are such a cute idea. They're selling one set of 12 for $12.99. You can also make labels for wine glasses. These ones are on sale for $6.29 per label. Save money and make it yourself. You can buy printable vinyl sticker paper and make your own labels for things. We already talked about wine glasses before, but they also make great bachelorette party gifts. These ones are currently selling for $17.99. I talked about how you can buy them from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I looked up Bachelorette on Creative Fabrica. They have a bunch of really cute designs. I love this bundle right here. Personalized can coolers are another top selling wedding project that you can make with your Cricut machine. These ones are selling for $6.99 a piece. Save money and make it yourself. I found this 25 pack on Amazon for $12.99. That comes out to only 52 cents each. They have so many different colors. $6.99 minus 52 cents is a $6.47 savings. It's also very popular for people to buy these can koozies as wedding favors for everybody who comes to the wedding. So I've seen people buy 100 or 200 of these and give them away to weddings that I've been to. Now imagine if you had to spend $7 on one can koozie times 100, that's $700 just on wedding favors. Or you can buy them on Amazon for 52 cents a piece. Slap your own design on it or names and dates and save yourself a ton of money. The design on that specific can cooler said wife of the party. I went over to create a Fabrica and typed in wife of the party and they have tons of SVGs that say wife of the party. This is why I subscribe to Creative Fabrica because they have everything I'm looking for. It comes with a commercial license. 
I get unlimited downloads for everything on their site. Like it's a no brainer. It just makes my business so easy. Don't forget to click that link down below in my video description if you're interested in trying Creative Fabrica out for free. Just a reminder, you get the 10 free downloads and then if you wanna subscribe, it's 70% off. So only $9 a month. Cancel anytime you want. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and learned some new project ideas that you can either make for your own wedding or sell in your Cricut small business. You can always start out by making projects for yourself or your family and friends. And then once you perfect your craft and your technique, you can expand outside of your social circle. Sell on different platforms like Etsy or Amazon or Facebook Marketplace. You can sell at craft fairs. If you're looking for more project ideas that you can make with your Cricut machine or you're interested in learning how you can turn your Cricut hobby into a small business, then make sure you keep watching my channel. Like this video, turn on your notifications, subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any of my new content. And as always, thank you for watching my channel.